Okay, okay, we can do this. Just kidding. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Now, of course, I would never do that. Don't ever do that, it's very dangerous. But in today's video, we are gonna be talking about bulletproof t-shirts. Yeah, you heard that right, guys. Bulletproof t-shirts. Now, traditionally, body armor has been very big and bulky, typically involves a plate carrier of some kind, but setups like that are very conspicuous. Everybody knows that you have body armor on, but what if you wanted concealed body armor? Now, there have been a lot of attempts at this in the past, and none of them quite got it right, but Premier Body Armor has come out with these Level 3A bulletproof t-shirts now they're super low profile and some of the most concealable body armor that i've ever seen in fact i'm wearing one right now now if you look really close you can probably make out some lines there but i do have body armor on my back and my front right now and this is not a big oversized t-shirt or anything this is a fairly fitted t-shirt that i would wear any day and I am able to mostly conceal this body armor underneath here. And unless you really know what you're looking for, you really don't see it. Now it gets even more concealable if you were to put on some type of button up shirt like this one here. And when you do that, the body armor pretty much disappears. There would be really no way for you to know that I was wearing body armor under here because it's just that low profile. And I think that's awesome. I could see a lot of applications for something like this, especially if you're doing security of some kind. For example, I do church security. So in the normal clothes that I wear to church, this would be very concealed and nobody would ever know that I was wearing it. Now, let me go ahead and take some of the rest of this off so you can see exactly what this shirt looks like on. All right, guys, there you go. This is the Everyday Armor T-shirt 2.0. It is an ultra light, ultra concealable, 3A rated bulletproof T-shirt from Premier Body Armor. And now you can see where the panel is here in the front. There's also another panel on the back. And the shirt itself is very comfortable. I would compare this to like an Under Armour type shirt. So it's made to fit very tight to the body. That's just gonna aid in the concealment factor. But as you can see, the actual armor on here is super thin and it's also extremely lightweight. This is very, very different than strapping on some big heavy plate carrier or even a lot of those concealment vests like police officers wear. The panels are very flexible, so it moves with your body. It's not gonna uh, inhibit you from doing anything that you want to do. Now it is only 3A protection, so that's something to consider. Now we're going to get in here, we're going to talk about all the features and the specifications of this, and then we're going to get out on the range and actually test it. I'm going to see if I can't poke a few holes in this thing for you guys and show you exactly what calibers this is rated to stop. But first guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. If you guys are interested in getting one of these for yourself, I will have a link in the description below along with a coupon code you can use to get yourself a discount. All right guys, so let's talk a little bit more about the features and specifications and stuff of this thing. So again, this is the Everyday Armor T-shirt 2.0 from Premier Body Armor. It does come in black as well as white and they have sizes to fit pretty much everybody. Now they do recommend that you size down a little bit because this is designed to be very tight fitting and that's just gonna aid in the concealment of the shirt. Uh, for example, I normally wear an extra large. This is a large and you can see it does fit very tight to the body uh, but that is a good thing it's made of a polyester and elastic compression fabric it is moisture wicking and antimicrobial so you can stay nice and comfortable in this thing it is still very breathable and you can see here these kind of channels that go over the shoulders and around the armor this is to provide support for that panel so you don't have to worry about this armor panel sagging or moving around on you now while these things are very light you still need to have some built-in support 
Now you can see the area of the body that the actual panel itself covers. Uh, this is called the cardiac box. So this is going to be the area of your chest that's most vulnerable, lungs, heart, all that stuff. Now obviously I can still get shot over here or down here, but the idea is that that's not going to be as serious as if I get shot here. And obviously the larger they make the panel, the less concealable it is. So there is a give and take with concealability and coverage. This is an example of the actual panel itself. It measures seven and three quarter inches wide and 12 and three quarter inches long. So you can see how it fits right about here. Again, this panel like this is not gonna give you maximum coverage, but that's not the point. The point of this is to be ultra concealable while still giving you protection in those vital areas. And you can see just how thin this thing is, guys. The panel itself is less than a quarter inch thick. It's 0.22 inches thick. So it's very thin and you can see it's very flexible. So it's not gonna inhibit your movement in any way. It is stab and slash resistant as well as being rated to level 3A for ballistic protection. That means it's gonna stop all pistol calibers from 22 up to 44 magnum and 12 gauge shotgun rounds the vast majority of gun deaths come from handgun calibers so this is going to protect you from most of those it is not rated to stop rifle calibers like 556 from an ar-15 or 762 from an ak though we will try it out later and see if we can't stop one of those it is not rated for anything above that level 3a standard the entire package here the shirt and two body armor panels front and back the entire thing only weighs two pounds now i think we've talked enough about this thing now let me show you what it can actually do let's get out on the range and i'm going to try to poke a few holes in it all right guys now this is my new shooting buddy ernest how do you do to you and you it's me it's me it's ernest t now sadly ernest is a paraplegic but he's still a lot of fun to shoot with and he's a really nice guy and he has graciously volunteered to test out our armor panels for us here today. So we're gonna start out small. We're gonna start with 22 and work our way up to some buckshot and some 357. And if it stops all that, then we're gonna give it a try with the AK. How's that sound, Ernest? All right, guys, we're gonna start out with some CCI 22 long rifle fired out of our Henry Lever Action 22. See how it does. All right, here's our first hit, second hit. No exit hole in the back. And I can feel the bullet down in there. No surprise there, let's keep going. All right, now we're gonna try some 124 grain nine millimeter fired out of the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. Have done a full review on this handgun. If you wanna check that out, I'll put a link right here at the top of the screen. Let's check it out. All right, guys, two shots, pretty much dead center. No holes in the back at all, so it did stop it. All right, now we're gonna step it up to some 45 Long Colt fired from the Taurus Judge. Ballistically, this should be pretty similar to 45 ACP. <laughs> Woo, hard hit right on the edge. I'm not confident about that at all. Most armor, if you hit it right on the edge, is not gonna stop it. So let's try to get one a little more centered and see what it does. All right, let's check it out. All right, guys, so this one hit way up here on the edge, um, and that worries me a little bit. Armor is a lot more compromised on its edges, so let's see. No pass through do have a little bit of tearing of the material, but the bullet and all is still in there. I have no pass through, even on that shot on the edge. And of course the one here in the middle, same way, no pass through. All right guys, now we're gonna try another really common revolver caliber. This is gonna be 357 Magnum. Now 357 Magnum is a very, very fast, very powerful round. And we're gonna be firing that out of one of my favorite guns. This is the 1873 Single Action Army from Taylors and Company. All 
Oh, Ernest, my boy. That one hit you pretty hard there, didn't it, man? Let's see. That is another one, guys, that was right on the edge. We're gonna have to take this out to see. All right, guys, it looks like our one on the edge here really skirted the edge of the panel and possibly came out the side. Let's see if we can find the bullet in there. It looks like this one here kind of came out at an angle and skirted the edge and came out right here. But if you look, the one that we fired here in the center, there's no pass through there. The one in the center, I can feel, I can feel that bullet right here on the inside. All right, guys, now we're gonna try a real heavy hitter, some 12 gauge buckshot fired out of our Maverick 88. One of the first reviews I ever did on this channel was of this gun. I love this thing. Let's see how it does. Ernest, I'm sorry, man, I'm so sorry. All right, guys, now obviously that was a heavy hit. You can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pellets into the panel here. Hard, hard hits. And again, you have some tearing of the material here on the back of the shirt. But if we look at the panel itself, no pass through. Now I can even see some of them are still on the surface here. There we go. All right guys, and so far we have stopped everything with the exception of this one 357 that I shot at an angle on the edge of the panel. Uh, but everything else has stopped just like it says it's supposed to. Now let's see if we can't put a few real holes in this thing. All right guys, it stopped everything we've thrown at it so far. Now let's try something that it's not rated to stop. This is 7.62 by 39, fired out of the Palmetto State Armory GF3 AK. Let's see. All right, guys, here's our shot from the AK. Let's see what we got going on under here. Oh. Okay, there's, yep, there's the exit right there. You can clearly see there's the entry, there's the exit. Now you can see the rest of these up here are just tears in the fabric, but you can clearly see the fibers coming out in that exit hole here. But that was expected. It is not rated to stop 762. It went right on through old Ernest here, but he's hanging in there. All right, let's wrap it up. All right, guys, that is it for the Everyday Armor 2.0 t-shirt from Premier Body Armor. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'm sorry to any of you guys that thought I was really going to shoot myself in the chest. No chance that's ever going to happen. But let me know what you guys thought. I think you could tell from our testing it did everything it's supposed to do. And it does it in a very sleek, very thin, lightweight, concealable, and pretty comfortable everyday wear t-shirt. If you guys are interested in getting one of these for yourself, I will have a link in the description below along with a coupon code you can use to get yourself a discount. If you wanna help support the channel in other ways, you can join our Patreon. You get a lot of exclusive content over there. We do also have a new Facebook page and don't forget all of our content is also posted over on Rumble. And if you're just looking for some cool t-shirts that are not bulletproof, you can check out pilotpatriotapparel.com. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe and stay safe out there.